history. Taylor Hale is the first black woman to win a non-celebrity edition of the game. And she is with us this morning to talk about how she did it and what comes next. Congratulations, Taylor. So happy for you. So good to see you. Thanks so much, Sheila. It's an absolute pleasure. I feel like I'm getting so much of you this year, and I will never complain about it. So Aww, it has been an absolute That's so awesome sweet. Yeah. yeah, for people who don't know, I host the Miss Michigan USA pageant, and Taylor was crowned uh, in 2021, right? It was, yes. That's right. Well, let's start with the show, though, Big Brother. You told Entertainment Weekly, I just read this, that your brain had exploded after you found out you won. How are you feeling now after, you, after you've known about it a little bit longer? Oh, okay, well, I've known about it a little bit longer. I think I do still have some brains on a wall somewhere. And a little <laughs> fun fact is that I have absolutely no hours of sleep. Since I woke up for the finale episode, I have not gotten any sleep. But it's not because I've been working too hard, but it's just straight adrenaline. It's, you know, I won $750,000 in one moment. And just minutes later, with the confetti still falling on my head, I was told I won another $50,000 because I had fans supporting me in my journey through the entire entire crazy summer that I had. So yeah, it's you were, been an absolute problem. Yeah, the fans voted for you for for the the favorite host, right? Yeah, yeah. How did that uh, feel? House, yes. You know, when you're in that big brother house, you are completely removed from your friends, your family, any source of communication unless you win power in the game. And clearly, if you're familiar with my time in the house, I had to go through some bullying and some adversity that I had to face. And it felt really uncomfortable a lot of times. So knowing that the fans saw me for exactly who I am when I had to fight a lot for the people in the house to see that, you know, it just makes the win even sweeter. And I'm the first person to win both the game and America's fan vote in the same season. So, uh, so excited right. for you. I know, Taylor, but you, you just mentioned that you were isolated in there. So what did it take to get through that bullying? Give me some insight into you. What it is in you that made you persevere? You know, I entered this game because I wanted to have a larger reason. And it's funny, the day that I won the game was actually 20 years to the day of another black woman who was sitting final two and did not win. And now that I'm the first black woman to actually win the game, it's just this incredible full circle moment for all the women like me who have played the game. And when it has been really hard, I just remember that I was the one to be so willing to bear that burden so that other people can play this game who look like me, other women can play this game and not feel like they have to carry the weight of being a woman in the game, carry the weight of being a woman of color or a person of color in the game. They can just play the game as they want to. So oh. I always knew I had a bigger purpose. Yeah, that's great. And and you've all, you've already been a, a role model as Miss Michigan USA and and a title holder, but, but do you have a message uh, for people about resilience and about overcoming their challenges and, and moving on? You always have to find your why. Um, and it's so easy to say, I just want to do a thing and do it for fun. But you have to have a why because there are going to be moments of challenge and you will feel very discouraged at times. But you have to understand that there's always going to be a bigger purpose and you have to have something that's going to drive you in the future. That can be inspiration not only for yourself, as I needed in the game of Big Brother, but it can also be an inspiration for other people, which I have done in this game. And clearly, I've also inspired people to be pretty invested in some potato chips as well. So, you know, <laughs> I'm working on a Super Bowl commercial. I'm trying to get in contact with Lays and see if you can make that happen. Okay, Lays, make that happen. But Taylor, you won almost a million dollars. What is next besides the Super Bowl commercial? I'll find a really good accountant and figure out taxes first. But then I do want to donate some of the money to a women's organization that will help women who have been abused or coerced or harassed. I want to make sure that women know what to do in a situation like that. Um, so I always want to make sure that those organizations are well funded. And then I just want to do some kind of boring things. I want to buy a house. I want to get a dog. I want to get a nice car. And from there, just make sure that my money is working for me. I want to be smart with it. Oh, my gosh. Well, in all the years I've known you, the, the last few years, I've always known that you were just so special and so genuine. I'm glad the whole USA knows it, too, now, Taylor. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you, Sheila. It's awesome, awesome. I love you so much. Love you, too. And I'll see you soon. And we'll be right back.